hi guys welcome to my steady compass in this video i'll be walking you through the past paper math p1 variant 1 may june 2022 let's get started students at an activity center choose one of four activities the bar chart shows some of their choices Five students choose hiking. Complete the bar chart. On the bar chart, we draw the bar for hiking to have the same width as the rest of the bars and a height of five. Write down the most popular activity. The most popular activity is the activity whose bar is the highest and that is climbing. Draw a line that is perpendicular to line L. There are many ways we can go about this. We can either use a protractor to measure an angle of 90 degrees at any point on line L and draw a line through the 90 degree mark that passes through the point. Or we can use a pair of compasses and draw the perpendicular bisector of line L. The diagram shows a circle. On the diagram, draw a chord. On the diagram, we've drawn a chord. A chord is a line that connects two points on the circumference of a circle. Another circle has a diameter of 28 cm. Find the radius of this circle. To get the radius of the circle, we divide 28 cm by 2. This gives us 14 cm. The scale drawing shows the positions of town A and town B. The scale is 1 cm, represents 15 km. Find the actual distance between town A and town B. On the scale drawing, when we measure the distance between A and B, we get 7.4 cm. So using the scale conversion, we can get the actual distance between A and B, which is what we are calling X. When we cross multiply and make X the subject, this is what we get, which is equal to 111 km. Measure the bearing of town B from town A. On the scale drawing, we've indicated the bearing of town B from town A. Using a protractor, when we measure this angle, we get 71 degrees. Change 0.56 kilometers into meters. To convert 0.56 kilometers to meters, we multiply 0.56 by 1000. This gives us 560 meters. Write these numbers in order, starting with the smallest. First, let's convert the numbers to a percentage by multiplying each number by 100%. 34% is already a percentage, so we leave it as it is. The smallest number is 34%, followed by 34.5%, which is 0.345, followed by 35.3%, which is 6 over 17, followed by 36%, which is 9 over 25. The diagram shows two parallel lines and a straight line crossing them. Find the value of x and the value of y. These two are alternate angles. Alternate angles are equal, so y is 68. Angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees, so x plus 68 equals 180. When we subtract 68 from both sides, we get x equals 112. Here is some information about six numbers. The lowest number is 37. Find the other five numbers. We are told the lowest number is 37, which has already been filled in for us. We are also told the range is 24. This means 24 is equal to the highest number minus the lowest number, which is 37. 
when we add 37 to both sides, we get the highest number to be 61. We are told the mode is 43. This means 43 appears more than once in the list. The median is 46. This means 43 plus the next number in the list, which we are calling x, divided by 2 is 46. When we make x the subject, we get x equals 49. Then finally, we are told one number is a multiple of 11. A multiple of 11 between 49 and 61 is 55. Calculate 4 raised to the power 5 minus 5 raised to the power 4. When we type this into the calculator, we get 399. Jason starts a run at 10.05 a.m. and finishes at 1.02 p.m. Work out the time Jason takes to complete the run. 10.05 a.m. is 10.05 on the 24-hour clock and 1.02 p.m. is 13.02 on the 24-hour clock. To get the time Jason takes, we subtract 10.05 from 13.02. Under the minute column, we can't subtract 5 from 2. So we get 1 hour from the hour column, which becomes 60 minutes under the minute column. So we have 62 minutes. So 62 minus 5 is 57. Under the hour column, 12 minus 10 is 2. So the time duration is 2 hours 57 minutes. Calculate 1 minus 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.45 minus 0 0.38, giving your answer correct to four significant figures. When we type the given expression into the calculator, we get 4.286, rounded to four significant figures. Kirsty changes $380.8 into pounds when one pound equals $1.19. Calculate the amount Kirsty receives. We want to find the amount Kirsty receives when she changes $380.8 into pounds, which is what we are calling x. When we cross multiply and make x the subject, this is what we get, which is equal to 320 pounds. A four-sided spinner is numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4. The table shows the probability of the spinner landing on 1, 2, and 4. Complete the table. The sum of all the probabilities must add up to 1. So to get the probability of the spinner landing on 3, we subtract the sum of 0 0.27, 0 0.18, and 0 0.32 from 1. This gives us 0 0.23. Without using a calculator, work out 3 over 7 minus 2 over 21. You must show all your working and give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. The LCM of 7 and 21 is 21. For 3 over 7, since we multiply 7 by 3 to get the LCM, we also need to multiply the numerator by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. For 2 over 21, since we multiply 21 by 1 to get the LCM, we also need to multiply the numerator by 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. 7 goes into itself 1 time and goes into 21 3 times. So we have 1 over 3. The diagram shows a right angle triangle ABC. AC is 15 centimeters and angle BAC is 38 degrees. Calculate BC. To get BC, we apply Sokatwa. This gives us sine 38 degrees equals BC divided by 15 centimeters. When we make BC the subject, this is what we get. When we type this into the calculator, we get 9.23 centimeters, rounded to three significant figures. 
work out the value of v when t equals 4. When we plug in the value of t into the given equation, this is what we have, which is equal to negative 17. Make t the subject of the formula. When we make 5t the subject, we get 5t equals 3 minus v. And when we divide both sides by 5, we have t equals 3 minus v over 5. Kim has a six-sided spinner numbered 1 to 6. She spins it 63 times and her scores are shown in the table. Find the relative frequency of scoring a 5 with this spinner. The relative frequency of scoring a 5 is equal to the frequency of scoring a 5, which is 8, divided by the sum of the frequencies, which is 63. Work out the mean score. The mean score is equal to the sum of all the scores, which is 1 times 12 plus 2 times 7 plus 3 times 15 plus 4 times 11 plus 5 times 8 plus 6 times 10 divided by the number of scores, which is 63. When we type this into the calculator, we get 3.41 rounded to 3 significant figures. Factorize completely. 14xy minus 7y squared. The terms have a common factor of 7y. When we factor out 7y, we are left with 2x minus y. Lynn invests $16,000 at a rate of R% per year simple interest. At the end of 5 years, she has a total amount of $17,920. Find the value of R. For simple interest, the total amount Lynn earns is equal to the principal P plus the total interest earned, which can be found using PRT over 100. In this case, we want to find R. When we make R the subject, this is what we get. The principal P is $16,000. A, which is the total amount at the end of the investment, is $17,920. T, which is the time duration in years for the investment, is 5. When we type this into the calculator, we get the annual rate R to be 2.4. Find the next term of the sequence. From the sequence, we see that to get the next term, we subtract 5 from the previous term. So when we subtract 5 from 2, we get negative 3. Find the nth term of the sequence. Since the terms have a constant difference between them, we can use this formula to get the nth term. A1, which is the first term, is 22. D, which is the common difference, is negative 5. When we expand the brackets, negative 5 times n is negative 5n. Negative 5 times negative 1 is 5. When we group like terms, 22 plus 5 is 27. So we have 27 minus 5n. Write down an irrational number with a value between 10 and 20. An irrational number is any number that cannot be expressed as a fraction. An irrational number in the given range is square root of 105. The table shows the population and area of three countries in 2020. Calculate the difference in population between Nigeria and Vietnam. The population difference between the two countries is 2.06 times 10 raised to the power 8 minus 9.73 times 10 raised to the power 7. When we type this into the calculator, we get 108,700,000. Which of Comoros or Vietnam has the greater population density? You must show all your working. 
the population density of Comoros is equal to the population of Comoros, which is 8.7 times 10 raised to the power 5, divided by the area of Comoros, which is 1.86 times 10 cubed. This gives us 468 rounded to 3 significant figures. The population density of Vietnam is equal to the population of Vietnam, which is 9.73 times 10 raised to the power 7, divided by the area of Vietnam, which is 3.1 times 10 raised to the power 5. This gives us 314 rounded to 3 significant figures. From these two values, we see that Comoros has a higher population density. Work out the area of this trapezium. Here is the formula for the area of a trapezium. In this case, A is 72 millimeters and H is 180 millimeters. We need to find B. To get B, we first need to find X. To get x, we apply the Pythagoras theorem. This gives us 204 squared equals 180 squared plus x squared. When we make x the subject, this is what we get, which is equal to 96. So b is 96 plus 72 millimeters, which is equal to 168 millimeters. When we type this into the calculator, we get 21,600 mm squared. Triangle ABC is mathematically similar to triangle PQR. Calculate QR. For similar shapes, the ratio of their corresponding sides is equal. When we make QR the subject, this is what we get, which is equal to... 4.5 centimeters. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.